Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India We have been discussing about the gravity gradient satellites. We will continue with that. So, last time we derived the, the motion of the gravity gradient satellite for a small angular displacement and a small angular velocity. So, uh, in that context, we were looking into the stability of uh, the related system or the stability of the motion of the gravity gradient satellite. So, we will continue with that. So, if you remember we have derived this relationship Okay, for a small angular velocity and a small angular displacement, we have written these two equations, which is for the raw yaw and the yaw dynamics, which are coupled together. And uh, thereafter, we have written the equation for the pitching motion, which was theta 2 double dot plus 3 omega 0 a square i 1 minus i 3 divided by i 2 times theta 2 this equal to 0 and uh, this particular part we have written as theta double dot plus 3 omega 0 a square the quantity which is present here this we have written as k i k i times theta 2 this equal to 0. So, this is the pitch dynamics pitching motion Now, the stability of the motion for the pitching, so the pitch stability requires that k i should be greater than 0, because omega 0 a square, this is already greater than 0. And obviously, in that case, it is a very obvious that this motion is of the same format as the SHM, the simple harmonic motion. Okay. So, if k i is greater than 0, then the pitch motion is going to be stable, means in this case you are going to get two poles on the imaginary axis and therefore, the motion will be continuous if it is a poles on the imaginary axis this implies that we have two poles like this okay. and th this implies that this motion will keep continuing like this. Say if I have a simple harmonic motion, so in that the amplitude keeps varying like this. Okay. So, we will return back to all these things later on. This also implies that uh, k i greater than 0, this implies that i 1 minus i 3 
this should be greater than 0 and this implies that i 1 is nothing but your i roll as I have discussed earlier also this is greater than i r. So, i roll greater than i r i roll greater than i r the moment of inertia along the roll axis should be greater than moment of inertia along the yaw axis. So, this is a this is required for pitch stability. Okay. Then we took these two equations and uh, converted in terms of Laplace uh, using Laplace transform we converted it and thereafter we looked into the uh, corresponding equation. So, for this equation we have already reduced and the reduced equation for the for the roll your dynamics the coupled equation after Laplace transform it appeared like s to the power 4 3 k 1 plus k 1 k 3 this equal to 0. So, this is a fourth degree equation So, 4 degree polynomial or the quartic polynomial in S okay. and therefore, this will have 4 roots. This implies 4 eigen values or the poles eigen values, eigen values and poles are the same thing 4 eigen values. Okay, so, th till this extent we have been working and uh, uh, one more thing that uh, we were discussing uh, perhaps I have not uh, explained you was uh, the omega 0 term which we have replaced by mu by omega 0 square equal to mu by r 0 q. This is the term which was appearing in the gravity gradient uh, torque okay, which appears on the right hand side of the Ehlers equation. So, this part perhaps uh, I did not discuss. So, let us first finish this then we will return back to this. So, uh, I have another uh, lecture series on uh, space flight mechanics. If you go in that and look into uh, the topic. So, for circular orbit or let me derive it here itself for circular orbit we can write the equation of motion like this. Uh, this is basically your uh, uh, satellite there, there is the earth center of the earth there is a satellite here. So, this is the center of mass and it is moving with velocity v and this is a circular orbit. So, the necessary centripetal force or the acceleration is provided by the gravitational force. So, m times m earth times g divided by r square. So, this is the equation. Okay. So, from here what we get that uh, m v is nothing but because this is circular orbit. So, the angular velocity will be constant and we can write this as the omega times r square and then this quantity is here m times m times g we write this as mu. Okay. The quantity that mu appears here in this place this is nothing but m earth times g where g is the universal gravitational constant universal
gravitational constant. Okay, so then this gets reduced to here uh, m mu by r. M m we can cancel out here, and therefore this gets reduced to omega zero square. This equal to mu by r cube, where r is the radius of the orbit. This is r, radius of the orbit. If you want to learn in detail something, so look into the lecture notes on space flight mechanics on NPTEL. So, this omega 0 which is appearing here, this is nothing but the quantity which is given here in this place. Okay, so, as we were discussing last time that uh, this is a 4th degree polynomial or the quartic polynomial. So, for poles what we are looking for that this system should be stable. Okay. So, uh, let us state it like this for stability stability means here dynamic stability not the static stability for stability it is required that that the poles of equation a lie in the we write it as c minus this is called the left half complex plane left half complex plane okay because s we are obtaining it from the laplace transform and c plus we will write as the right half complex plane okay so for a stability it's required that the poles of the equation lie in the c minus. Okay. Now, if we what we were discussing that um, from the Descartes rule that if we have a polynomial okay, say x to the power n plus a 1 times x to the power n minus 1 and so on. this is a polynomial of order n okay. and for this polynomial the roots will lie in the right half complex plane means if the poles are in the left half complex plane the system will be unstable and if the poles are in the left half complex plane system will be stable. So, this is the basic fundamental. So, we are trying to get the poles for this. So, as you know that from the Descartes rule, so as many sign changes that takes place in this equation, okay, that will be the upper bound on the, so upper bound on the number of roots on the positive side positive real axis will be the number of sign changes in coefficients e i. So, if say this is positive thereafter the next coefficient a 2 turns out to be negative. So, we will count this as the one sign change and suppose the next coefficient a 3 is positive. So, this is positive here it is negative and then this turns out to be positive. So, from here to here this is one sign change and from here to here again there is one sign change. Okay. So, a 1 and let us write it here a 2 x to the power n minus 2 plus a 3 x to the power 
n minus 3 and plus like this. So, here if this is positive, if this becomes negative okay, and a 3 becomes again positive means we have total 2 sign changes. So, it says that the roots on in the and, and thereafter assume that all other coefficients are a i s are they are positive. So, we will have at maximum 2 poles in on the real axis on the positive side. Okay. We cannot have more than that and what we want here? We want that there should not be any poles in the right half complex plane. This is our requirement. So, this requires that all these coefficients here uh, although here the some of the coefficients are absent like the s q coefficients are absent and then s coefficient is also absent. So, but there is no sign change. Okay. So, here we count this uh, what is the requirement that uh, these coefficients which I am underlining here this mu must be positive. So, that there will be no sign change and no poles will lie in the right, right half complex plane and therefore, we stated that k 1 times k 3 this should be greater than 0. This is one requirement that poles are not in the right heart plane. Okay. So, k 1 k 3 this should be greater than 0. Another one we have written as 1 times 1 plus 3 k 1 plus k 1 k 3 this should also be greater than 0. So, suppose these two conditions are satisfied. So, uh, this ensures that this says that this is necessary condition. Okay. This is the necessary condition that no uh, poles are lying in the uh, on the real axis on the positive side. So, we can state a theorem on this if any and if you look here in this particular uh, this particular equation. So, this is the Laplace transform we have applied to a linear system. Okay. So, the linear system it can always be represented in the format x dot equal to a x. You can always represent it in this format where x these are vectors. Okay. So, if any a i is negative then then the solution x tilde this equal to 0 of x tilde dot equal to a x is unstable. So, for this it is required and this is the necessary condition necessary condition for stability and there is a related theorem for the sufficient condition, but uh, and this is due to the Hurwitz. Okay. But that particular theorem is not applicable here in this case. So, therefore, we are not going into the next theorem. Now, what we look for that if we have this problem, so let us write this quantity as A and the this quantity as b. Okay. So, this equation uh, can be written as s square s to the power 4 a times s square plus b this equal to 0. So, this is the quartic polynomial. Now, this one if this condition is satisfied. So, we know that uh, here it is required that a should be greater than 0 and b should be greater than 0 and this is implying that k 1 k, k 3 should be greater than 0 and this is applying that 1 plus 
3 k 1 plus k 1 k 3 this would be greater than 0 this is what we have written here in this place ok. okay but to explore further let us assume that we write s square equal to z. So, the above equation can be written as z square plus a times z plus b this equal to 0. Now, rather than inquiring for the imaginary or the complex root just look into this particular one. For this equation we want that z should be on the negative real axis. Okay. So, for this requirement to be fulfilled what is required let us write the roots of for this this will be minus a plus minus b a square minus uh, plus minus a here. So, uh, uh, I will uh, okay, uh, I will continue with this notation uh, I should have written here b and this could have been written c. So, uh, this is also fine. So, minus a uh, plus here then it will be a square this will be a square minus 4 a c. So, here this coefficient and this coefficient multiplied here. So, here in this case the there is no coefficient as you know for the quadratic equation in the quadratic a f square plus b x plus c equal to 0 once you solve it. So, how do we write for this solution x equal to minus b plus minus b a square minus 4 a c under root divided by 2 a. So, the same thing we are applying here. So, this becomes under root this and then 4 b divided by 2. Okay. So, from here then a is obviously the quantity this quantity times this omega 0 a square. Okay. So, this is minus omega 0 a square times 1 plus 3 k 1 plus k 1 k 3 then plus minus b a square. So, again 1 plus 3 k 1 plus k 1 k 3 whole a square minus 4 times b which is b here in this case is uh, 4 omega 0 to the power 4 k 1 k 3. So, here uh, we have uh, not written the part uh, omega 0 square. So, we will add here omega 0 square and with this we have this multiplied by 4 omega 0 square uh, omega to the power 4. This is 4 omega to the power 4. Okay. So, 4 uh, omega to the power 4 he, here also we should mention it this part then becomes omega to the power 4 because this omega 0 square is there minus 4 times uh, 4 times the quantity which is present here this is k 1 k 3 times four times four omega zero to the power four four times four k one k three and this total under root divided by 2. Now, looking into this equation as you know this quantity it also enters here in this place. 
this particular part is also present here. Okay. So, when the roots will be this z will be on the negative real axis here when it will lie here in this range okay, on this side when the z is going to lie on this side this is the question. So, for this to be negative this z to be negative it will be required that this quantity should be the quantity which is present here this quantity should be greater than the quantity inside the uh, square root sign. So, the quantity inside the square root sign should be positive quantity inside the square root sign square root sign should be positive. Why it is a very obvious if you look here in this place this is minus a if this quantity is positive when that will happen a square is a we have written this is a positive quantity and from there b is also a positive quantity because of these requirements. So, if this quantity this is positive and this is positive and we if this quantity becomes positive. So, obviously this a square minus 4 b under root this will be less than a ok this quantity will be less than a the, which is very obvious because a and b both are positive. So, then a quantity which is smaller than b if you add to that. So, still this quantity will remain negative this minus a if we add ok this is a quantity which is less than a and to this we are adding minus a. So, that will remain negative and this minus a and here the minus sign this particular sign. So, that again it will make it negative. So, it ensures that if this quantity okay, which also we call it the discriminant. So, if, if, if this is uh, positive then we are going to get the z in the on the left hand side on the real axis. Okay. So, from here what we get that 1 plus 3 k 1 plus k 1 times k 3 omega 0 to the power 4 minus 4 into 4. So, that makes it 16. So, we will write here directly as 16. 16 omega 0 to the power 4 k 1 times k 3 this should be greater than 0 and omega 0 th these are positive quantity. So, we can eliminate it. So, this gets reduced to this is a square here 1 plus 3 k 1 plus k 1 times k 3 square this should be greater than 16 k 1 k 3. So, this was the requirement we have put and if this is ensured then what we observe that z is lying on the negative side on this side. Okay. So, with this we have written s square equal to z and this implies then that the s will be z under root and if z is lying on the real axis here on the left hand side. So, s is going to be purely imaginary. So, we will have here plus minus z. Okay. So, you have two values of z from this equation and then coming here in this place s will be equal to plus minus z. So, two values we need to insert here and the correspondingly we get four imaginary roots. So, this yields you this gives we can take one example maybe uh, and uh, look into this. Let us say a equal to 5 and b equal to 4 a equal to 5 and b equal to 4 just for example sake. Okay, so, z will be minus 5 plus minus 25 minus 16 divided by 2. So, 
so this is minus 5 plus minus here there is 9 uh, so 9 this becomes 3 divided by 2 so we will have two roots here minus 5 minus 3 divided by 2 and minus 5 plus 3 divided by 2 so that gives me uh, minus 8 divided by 2 is minus 4 and this gives me minus 2 divided by 2 equal to minus 1 so these are the two roots for the so z equal to minus 4 and minus 1 so correspondingly we get for this the s will be plus minus minus 4 under root and corresponding to this we get s equal to plus minus minus 1 under root so this is minus plus minus this is 2 i and this gives you plus minus i so these are the four purely imaginary roots as i told you in the last lecture So, here it so happens in this case that we get purely imaginary roots for this particular equation okay. provided this coefficient coefficients this coefficient and this one they are positive and moreover the another requirement is that this condition should be satisfied. So, we have total three conditions to be satisfied that k 1 k 3 should be greater than 0 1 plus 3 k 1 plus k 1 k 3 this should be greater than 0 and also 1 plus 3 k 1 plus k 1 k 3 square this should be greater than 16 k 1 k 3. Okay, so uh, this pure imaginary roots. So we have total four imaginary roots. Now we can analyze the system stability from this. Row. How, what kind of under what circumstances, what if the value of k 1 is something, if the value is of k 3 is something. So, how the raw layer dynamics will look like okay. together with we have to also look for the k i, the k i we have defined for the pitch dynamics. Okay. So, if we go back this k i which is entering here ok. This we have also defined earlier and the symbol for this that we have used k i equal to i 1 minus i 3 divided by i 2. So, this is the quantity which enters here in this place. and this should also be positive. So, so this is for all your stability which are coupled together these two dynamics dynamics along these two axis roll and a axis is coupled together while for the pitch stability. Pitch stability it is required that k i which we have defined as i 1 minus i 3 divided by i 2 it should be greater than 0 and this tells that i 1 should be greater than i 3. So, i 1 greater than i 3 for pitch stability and this implies that moment of inertia along the roll axis should be greater than moment of inertia along the yaw axis. Okay. So, for the pitch stability this is your requirement. In the same way we can discuss about the 
stability along the uh, stability for the roll and the yaw. Okay. So, next we take the stability for roll and yaw. All roll your stability k one k three greater than zero. This implies that k one should be greater than zero and k three should be greater than zero. And how we have uh, defined this uh, k 1 and k 3, we have to go back and uh, look into those equations. Okay. So, the k 1 we have defined as i 2 minus i 3 divided by i 1. So, the, if this is greater than 0, this implies i 2 will be greater than i 3 and this says that i pitch should be greater than i yaw. Similarly, the k 3 equal to i 2 minus i 1 divided by i 3, this should be greater than 0 according to this. Okay. So, this implies i 2 will be greater than i 1 and this says that i pitch should be greater than i roll, because along this axis one axis we have roll along the two axis we have pitch along the three axis we have yaw. So, taken together these two things state that i pitch should be greater than i yaw and i roll. Okay, so I will name this as say 1. Okay, this is the one condition. The other condition we can get in the same way k 1 k 3 greater than 0, this also implies that k 1 can be less than 0 and k 3 can be less than 0. Okay. So, this implies that k 1 equal to i 2 minus i 3 divided by i 1, this should be less than 0 and therefore, i 2 will be less than i 3 and this implies i pitch should be less than i yaw. In the same way, the k 3 this part k 3 less than 0. So, k 3 is here i 2 minus i 1 divided by i 3 this is less than 0 this implies. So, this is i pitch should be less than i roll. Okay. So, these two can be summarized together like i pitch this should be less than i yaw and i roll. So, let us name this as the second one. So, what we see that either i pitch should be greater than i roll yaw or either i pitch should be less than i roll and yaw. And for the pitch stability, we have only one condition that i roll should be greater than yaw. Okay. So, now we utilize this. So, uh, I will write here in this portion. So, this is 1 2 and here I will write this as maybe uh, say a earlier I have written perhaps. So, I will name this as b. So, from b and 1 what we get that i pitch 
should be greater than i roll has to be greater than i r for satisfaction for the satisfaction of pitch stability for ensuring pitch stability so and here i pitch is there is no pitch and pitch here okay just check it so i pitch should be greater than i roll and this should be greater than i r so this is what we conclude using this one and uh, this one on the other hand from b and 2 this one okay so from here we conclude that i pitch should be less than what is the another condition that i roll has to be greater than i r okay if you look into this i roll has to be greater than i r so this implies that i r should come like this and here i roll so this is one and this is one so these are the two conditions on the moment of inertia we are getting here in this place and out of this this one is preferred for the reason which i am going to explain afterwards okay so that says that the i pitch should be greater than i roll and i r then your pitch stability moreover roll and yaw stability will be ensured okay and even if this condition is satisfied then also it tells that the pitch and the yaw roll stability will be satisfied but we have to wait further okay because we have just taken this condition we have just concluded based on this condition and this condition okay other things we need to conclude what is remaining this part this part is remaining and this part is also remaining this two we need to explore before we can tell something else okay so to explore further let us look into some of the things which will be required for further analysis let us write k3 minus k1 this quantity k3 is i2 minus i1 divided by i3 k3 i2 minus i1 divided by i3 from this part and then k1 we have to put here k2 minus i3 divided by i1 so this is uh, i2 minus i3 divided by i1 so i2 minus i3 divided by i1 this is rearranging this particular equation thus we have k3 minus k3 minus k1 this gets reduced to i3 plus i1 times uh, 
I 2 we can take it outside times So, we can rewrite this as here we are taking exchanging this side minus sign we are taking outside and writing it like this and taking the common i 3 minus i 1. Now, go back and look for the what was required for pitch stability. For pitch stability was required that I 1 should be greater than I 3 for pitch stability. So, for pitch stability I 1 should be greater than I 3. So, if that happens, so it implies that the quantity here this quantity will be negative. If I 1 gets becomes greater than I 3, so this implies I 3 minus I 1 will be less than 0. Okay. So, this quantity becomes negative and I will show that this quantity this is always positive, always positive. Okay. So, this implies that K 3 minus K 1 because this quantity is negative and this is always positive. So, this k 3 minus k 1 will be less than 0 and this implies that k 3 should be less than k 1 for pitch stability. Okay, this is the requirement. So, one requirement we have got here which is k 3 should be less than k 1. Okay, now, let us look into this part I 1 plus I 3 minus I 2 why this is always positive. I 1 plus I 3 minus I 2 this is greater than 0 this is what I am stating. Okay. Now, I 1 plus I 3 minus I 2 we can write as rho 2 square plus rho 3 square dm this is the inertia okay, and this is how inertia we have defined. Then I 3 equal to rho 1 square plus rho 2 square dm and then minus I 2. So, this is rho 1 square plus rho 3 square dm. So, we combine together. So, this gets reduced to rho, rho 2 a square, rho 3 a square, rho 1 a square plus rho 2 a square minus rho 1 a square minus rho 3 a square d. And thereafter, this rho 1 a square, rho 1 a square this cancels out, rho 3 a square, rho 3 a square cancels out, and what we get here? rho 2 a square 2 d m means 2 rho 2 a square d m. This quantity is always positive and therefore, this quantity will be always greater than 0. So, this implies that I 1 plus I 3 minus I 2 this is always greater than 0. So, while discussing in this place we have stated that this quantity is always positive therefore, this is positive and this quantity will be negative from the requirement that for the pitch stability I 1 should be greater than I 3. So, I 1 greater than I 3 this implies this quantity is going to be negative. So, if this is negative so automatically this k 3 minus k 1 that gets negative and therefore, we get this and this implies this that k 3 should be less than k 1. So, this is another conclusion we have got. Okay. Moreover, if we look into the 
some more thing uh, I will state in this regard. This uh, this is your K three. So I two minus I one divided by K three is I two minus I one divided by I three. So the same way this equation, if you use this kind of equation, so you can write it. I two will be row one square plus row three square, and I one will be and then uh, row one will be so if, uh, this uh, I one is row two square plus row three square dm. Okay. So this we need to insert here. So this is row two square minus row three square. This is dm, and I three obviously you have row one square plus row two square dm. And if you look into this quantity, so row three and row three it cancels out, and this gives you row one square minus row two square divided by row one square plus row two square dm d. So what it says, this quantity is always positive. This can be positive or negative. But one thing is ensured that k three will be less than one. Okay. And also, this will lie between minus one and one. The same way, if you look for k one, so k one also it's going to lie between one and minus one. You can. Use the same line of deduction. What if I have done here in this place, and so that K one is also like that. And in the same way, the K i. If you are looking for the K i, the quantity K i. We have written here in this place. Okay, along the same line, K i will also lie between minus one to one. Okay, because this is the property; it's a simple thing. So this implies. This implies that K one magnitude this will be less than one, and also the K three magnitude this will be less than one. Okay, and therefore. Wherever you have got quantity like one minus k one and one minus k three, this will always be positive. Always positive. Okay, this has appeared. These two terms have appeared in the Rolle dynamics. So these informations, whatever we have derived here, we can utilize it for uh, our purpose. This part, this also says. I one plus say the I one plus I three minus I two. This is greater than zero. So this also implies that I one plus I three will be greater than I two. Along the same line, also you will have I two plus I one. This will be greater than I three, and also I one plus uh, uh, I two plus I three. This will be greater than I one. Okay, very easy to deduce using this kind of information. Okay, that you can check. Just work like this, and you will get all these results. So now we are uh, almost ready to uh, explain the stability of uh, this system. so what we have looked till now that i pitch should be greater than i roll and i yaw this requirement comes this particular part comes from the pitch stability or either i pitch should be less than i yaw and i roll 
while we are preferring this this is preferred one and we have to get into this to explain the whole thing now if, uh, we go into a figure for explaining this part okay now look into this figure here on this axis k1 is plotted and on the vertical axis the k3 is plotted where the k3 is written here and uh, k1 is written here in this place and this particular figure is from the modern spacecraft dynamics and controls by marshall h kaplan so if you look here into this figure so what are our requirement the one requirement we have written was k1 k3 this should be positive k1 times k3 this should be greater than 0 so where the k1 and k3 will be greater than 0 it will be greater than 0 in this quadrant in the first quadrant and in the in this quadrant again if you look the k1 and k3 multiplication so k3 will be negative along this side while positive here so this becomes negative so here k1 k3 this is less than 0 here on this side we have k1 k3 greater than 0 on this whole side in the third quadrant k1 k3 this will be greater than 0 and while here k1 k3 this will be less than 0 so to satisfy this requirement what we see that the regions marked by this red cross and this red cross they are ruled out okay and this stability requirement is from the uh for our uh, roll uh, roll ya stability okay so the k1 k3 greater than 0 it's uh, required for the roll ya stability so these two things are not satisfied either here in this domain or either here in this domain so these two are ruled out okay thereafter for the pitch stability for pitch stability also we have observed that k3 should be less than k1 as it is written here this is required that pitch stability k3 should be less than k1 so where the k3 is less than k1 if you look for this so this line this is k1 equal to k3 this is just at 45 degree okay one one here in this place so uh, on this line your k1 equal to k3 so below this here in this region you will have the for the pitch stability if you look here for this region so this is written here the unstable in pitch so in this region above this line it was the line which is drawn here like this okay it's going from this place to this place okay so for this line you will have k1 greater than uh, k3 greater than k1 so while the pitch stability is required that k3 should be less than k1 and therefore this becomes unstable in pitch okay so for this region this is unstable in pitch and this is applicable for all the points lying above this line okay so for this whole region which is has like this okay for this upper region for region which is belonging to this portion here this whole thing and this whole portion this is pitch unstable okay because this condition is not satisfied k3 greater than k1 it will not be satisfied over this and therefore it has been hashed like this and written this a pitch unstable and already we have seen that in this region also roll ya yeah, instability is there because k1 k3 is not greater than this is basically less than 0 and therefore you can compare this this condition is violated 
okay, this is violated and therefore, raw law and instability is also present here. In this region already raw law and instability is there because of this condition not getting satisfied that k 1 k 3 should be k 1 k 3 multiplied together should be greater than 0. So, this is also violated and therefore, here also this is unstable. So, what remains to us this region which is the lower one lower part from here to here this particular part all the way here this part and then this part which I am showing by red line and also this part. and this whole thing here. So, this region and this region is remaining. Now, this part we have to look into. Okay. So, again here it is written that it is a unstable in roll and yaw. Okay. So, for what region this is unstable we have to find out. So, this instability if you look for this, this line which is shown here say this line above this line this condition 1 plus 3 k 1 plus k 1 times k 3 greater than 0 this will be satisfied only in this region and it is not satisfied here in this region. Okay. So, basically uh, sorry uh, we are writing here this uh, square this should be greater than 16 k 1 k 3 this square should be greater than k 1 k 3 here uh, there was some term. So, here the square should be there which is missing here. So, uh, this quantity we need to have greater than 0 which is not satisfied here in this place rather it is a violated means in this portion this is less than 16 k 1 k 3 and this line arises by solving this particular equation. So, on this side you have this condition violated while on this side it is satisfied and this particular region which I am uh, marking by this green it is called the Debra Delp region. We do not have space here. Okay, for the uh, person who solved this problem, so after him this name is given. So, only this white portion which is remaining here, uh, this particular portion in this your stability is ensured both roll and yaw stability. Roll stability, yaw stability it is ensured and already we have looked for that the on the upper side pitch stability is not satisfied, but on the lower side on this side the pitch stability is satisfied. Therefore, in this region all the roll pitch and your stability all of them are satisfied. Okay. So, this is satisfied while here on this side your uh, all the conditions are satisfied in this place. So, uh, we will discuss further this particular figure uh, in the next lecture for the uh, time being we are stopping here because already we have exceeded uh, much more than half an hour supposed for this lecture. Okay. So, uh, few things which are remaining we will take up in the next lecture like the absolute about the pitch here it is written absolute about the yaw here it is written absolute about the roll 
Okay. Then here in this portion, it's a real written the sphere which is being indicated for this central point. Okay. So, okay. So uh, we are taking again the old figure and looking into that because uh, that was uh, totally filled up by different comments. So here in this region, we have seen that this condition is not satisfied. Okay. So here not satisfied and therefore, this is unstable in raw linear all these things we have already discussed. Now, there are certain comments it is a written here axel about the roll axis it is axel about the roll axis. So, what does this mean on this axis if you look here on this axis. So, this particular axis k 1 is 0. Okay. So, k 1 here this equal to 0. So, this implies k 1 is 0 if we look take up this particular part. So, this will be k 1 equal to i 2 minus i 3 divided by i 1 this equal to 0. So, this implies i 2 equal to i 3 and this implies axle about the one axis. So, therefore, it is written the axle about the roll means the one axis it is a related to your roll axis. Okay. So, one axis this is nothing but your roll axis. So, therefore, all the points on this axis it is a termed as the axle about the roll in the same way axle about the yaw on this axis. Okay. So, for that we have to sit to see that k 3 is 0 here on this place k 3 is 0. So, we need to set it to 0. So, if we set it to 0 this implies i 1 will be equal to i 2 and therefore, this implies uh, this happens in the case of a say the disc here if we take this as the i 1 and this as the i 2 and this is the i 3. So, th this says that this is the axle about yaw axis and this is what is written here axle about the yaw axis. Okay. This line is written here axle about the pitch axis. So, this particular line. So, here k 1 equal to k 3 on this line. Okay. So, k 1 equal to k 3. So, k 1 is i 2 minus i 3 divided by i 1 and k 3 is this part i 2 minus i 1 divided by i 3. So, this implies i 1 will be equal to i 3. Okay, only then these two quantities on the left and right will be equal and this implies that uh, axle about the pitch axis. So, something like this you have i 1 and we will have to name it properly. So, we will name this as i 1 i 1 and i 3 are equal. So, this is i 1 this will name as i 2 and this will name as i 3. So, i 1 i 2 and i 3 using the right hand rule. Okay. Then we have the quantity here k p equal to 1 by 3 this is k p which is nothing but in our case this is k i okay. for the k i already we have defined this uh, this is appearing for the pitch in the particular in this book this has been used for the pitch similarly k y it has been used for the yaw okay. while we are using it for k 3. Similarly, here the k r r is a standing for roll okay this is for roll now what remains that in this region already we have discussed that in this region and this region our conditions are satisfied moreover so only this region shown in white which is not hashed is satisfying the given conditions for the pitch roll and yaw okay 
and what is shown here by this line which uh, is a standing for and this is applicable for the eccentric orbit which we have still not discussed we have taken the satellite to be in the circular orbit if we take it to be the eccentric orbit so for that we will get that solution so we are not discussing about that okay once we take the eccentric orbit i will give one lecture for that so at that time i will take up uh, this particular part now here if we look here in this part so it's uh, written here i pitch greater than i roll and i roll is greater than i yaw so already we have observed that for our stability the i pitch should be greater than i roll and i roll should be greater than i yaw or either i pitch should be less than i yaw and i yaw should be less than i roll okay so again this part uh, we do not find a space here much K three is uh, greater than K one here. So only in this region we are getting I pitch for this particular region greater than I roll is greater than I yaw. in this region you have already you can observe that i pitch minus i yaw because here as it is appearing this k1 this quantity is positive here in this region okay and therefore k1 is positive means if k1 is greater than 0 so this implies that i2 will be greater than i3 means i pitch will be greater than i yaw this implies i pitch this is greater than i yaw which is written here okay i pitch happens to be greater than i yaw and also for the pitch stability requirement is that the i roll should be greater than i yaw so and already we have seen that that condition is satisfied in this region and therefore this particular condition is only satisfied in this region and also in this region and as i stated earlier that uh, this is the region that uh, i pitch or i1 greater than uh, sorry this uh, i pitch is i2 so i2 greater than i1 greater than i3 this is preferred as earlier i have stated you so this is from this figure we can get all the results one particular part is remaining is this part the center at the center your k1 is vanishing and also k3 is vanishing so in that case k3 is vanishing means i1 equal to i2 and k1 is once the k1 vanishes here the k1 vanishes so in that case you are getting i2 equal to i3 so this implies in this place you will have i1 equal to i2 equal to i3 and this is the case only for your sphere okay so this is referring to your sphere this particular point the origin okay so this way you can analyze this figure now this figure once we have got this figure so while you are designing you are selecting the moment of inertia then you have to ensure for the gravity gradient satellite that your the moment of inertia once you are choosing so that your k1 and k k3 and ki all they should satisfy this particular white regions which is shown here in this figure okay so uh, i hope uh, for the time being this is enough and uh, i will give one more lecture next time uh, which will be on the uh, gravity gradient satellite in the eccentric orbit
and wind up this particular topic and uh, there are much more to discuss but only 30 lectures we are scheduled on this particular topic uh, five lectures per schedule we have already given 10 lectures if i continue it can uh, exit 15 lectures so the other things then we will uh, fall short of so we'll stop after uh, completing one more lecture okay. thank you very much for listening